Hey everyone, I'm in the upstairs bathroom today, and what I'm going to be doing is replacing the seat on the wall hung toilet. So stay tuned. So if you're new to the channel, I just want to welcome you here, and hopefully you'll consider subscribing if you like what you see. Also, check out DIY Apprentice on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post lots of pictures and videos on those platforms before I post anything on YouTube. And occasionally I'll post things on those platforms I don't post on YouTube. Also, check out the website at DIYApprentice.com. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. So this wall hung toilet I installed about five years ago as part of the downstairs bathroom remodel. And it was a ton of plumbing work that was done at that time. You probably saw some videos on that if you've looked at the playlist of videos for the bathroom remodel downstairs. So the seat I have here is called Church. That's the actual brand name. Uh, original seat, the Kohler that I had, it was broken when it was shipped. And in order to return that seat and get a new one, I would have had to send the whole toilet and the seat back. So I just decided that's more headache than I wanted. I'm just going to go ahead and buy my own seat. The reason why I'm replacing this seat is because, as you can see, the soft close no longer works, and also there is a crack back here. So a little bit about, more about this bathroom also. This is a project that I'm going to tackle sometime after I get the downstairs bathroom done. I know that's been a long time coming, getting that one wrapped up, but we're really making a hard push to get that done because we have a ton of other stuff in this house. There'll be a lot of other videos on projects around the house. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and jump on replacing the seat on the wall hung toilet. All right, so this toilet bowl is an elongated toilet bowl instead of a round toilet bowl. So you see right there, it says elongated bowl seat. And what you're supposed to do is take a measurement. So the measurement should be 18 and 5 eighths from here to the center of our screw here all the way to the front. So we're going to do that first, take our measurement just to confirm before we open the box. So I'll go from there, somewhere around there, to about there. That looks like 18 and 5 eighths to me is pretty close. So we're going to call that good. So definitely make sure you get the right seat before you open up your box and have to take it back to the store and then have problems returning it. Now I also want to check the color. So the color on this one is white. That's the same white as this Kohler bowl. So we should be in good shape. So we're going to go ahead and replace it now. And in order to do that, all we have to do is pop these caps up here and then basically just lift the seat off. Just kind of pop it up like that. So I've got a half inch wrench for the nut underneath. Now I've got a large screwdriver. I'm just going to unscrew this. Put that on there first. That's good. And unscrew this. Repeat the process for the other side. So I've got that out now. All right, so let's take a look and see what's inside our box here. There's our new seat. There's some hardware right there. Save our instructions, just in case we need them. All right, so before I go through the trouble of installing this, I want to make sure the soft close is working. So I'm going to hold this down with my wrist and my hand back here, and then just lift the seat up and let it fall. And that seems to be working just fine. All right, so on the back of the seat, there are two plastic parts. You can take those out. You can see right there. Hopefully, you can see that. I'll take a picture of it. It says up. This one says down on that side. Same thing here. Take these off. I'm going to set this aside for a second. All 
right, so with those two pieces positioned here, so we should be able to read up. And on this side, I'm actually going to use some pliers since I can't reach all the way underneath there with my hands. I'm going to use some pliers to hold this uh, nut in. And then while I'm holding that, I'm going to start this bolt through here. Driver. reposition this once I get the toilet seat uh, on here. Let's do the other side now. Let's go ahead and try putting our seat on now. So this just slides back. You want to be careful with this, of course. Like that. Make sure that clips in correctly there. Check our positioning. It's not too bad. We can tighten this down now. And this side. Okay, and then we just put our caps down like this. One last thing I almost forgot is to install the bumpers on the underside of the seat, and that's it. All right, so there you have it. There's a seat installation on the wall home toilet. And these seats have become much easier to install over the years, especially these plastic seats. These are really easy to work with. It takes just a matter of minutes to really take the old seat out and put the new one in. So hopefully this information was helpful, and thanks for watching. See links in the description below. Comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check us out on social media. And thanks for watching.